present the World Championship Trophy to the Kansas City Royal. 35, the 40, midfield, foot race, down the sideline. I had the opportunity to donate it to a number of different institutions and facilities. But after speaking to Dr. Kelly and listening to his vision of how he thought this museum could be used, I decided to let it be housed at FAU because of Dr. Kelly's vision. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. I don't recall what the first item was. I just do know that I've always been a sports fan. And ever since I owned a Major League Baseball team, I was just enthralled about the history of it and about the uniqueness of the game. And then it branched into football, into basketball, into other sports also. But I've just been a collector. And I would say that that's probably the passion that I've had the last 50 years in just being a collector. When you see these names on baseballs of these King Abdullah and, and Diana and Fidel Castro and the Supreme Court and two different popes, Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison, Charles Lindbergh, Martin Luther King. When you realize all these people signed baseballs, then you have to ask yourself, well tell me, what did Thomas Edison do? And all these type of baseballs here give you the reason and motivation to know more about these people. That's how history and education ties them together with sports. Probably one of the most valuable artifacts we have here is the 13 original rules of basketball. This was typed up by James Naismith. That's his own handwriting. And I also have the pen that he used. And to be able to have the handwritten notes of the man that invented basketball and have it on display, I think it's pretty special.